Hello. Oh. Hello, guys. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Good How evening. are you? Doing? Good evening. How are you doing? Going to share the screen. There we go. So, how was your day today, guys? Any uh, novelty? Any anything that came up in your life? I'm opening here the presentation. Teacher, I am El Eliu. Uh, I uh -huh. I am I am in moving right now because I have a an emergency in my in my work in my cattle ranch. Ah. A, a, cow, a cow was dying and, and and I need to uh, it's a big problem I cannot explain uh, how no 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 it's okay it, don't it, worry it, it, it but I, I I must travel to San Miguel to, to get some some appliance and some something that I, we need to to, mm -hmm. to recover the, the cows mm -hmm. and I am I am coming back right now I am moving if, ah, okay. uh, if, the, if the connection cut is for that reason, okay? okay? Because I am in my phone right now. Okay, okay no problem, you. Eliu. You're welcome. And, and I'm sorry to hear that. I really hope that the, the situation, you know, um, it's resolved and no worries. Uh, you can just stay there. Um, it's okay if you uh, are not able to participate. If you want to listen to the class, that's totally fine. And thank you so much, you know, for the effort. But uh, your priority right now should be, you know, that um, that uh, specific uh, matter. So don't worry. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Just give me a second, guys. I'm going to just open here the the list. Give me a moment. This is the presentation. Hey guys, today we have session number 12. Okay, so, um, well, one more week and you will be finishing this module, okay? I'm going to share the screen, I mean, the, the presentation. There we go. Give me a second and let me continue with, oh, sorry, this is mine, with the others, with the list. Where is it? Ay, aquí está. Ay, my goodness. Es que la de ustedes, es el, es como ustedes son el, hoy por hoy, chicos, ustedes son el nivel, el, el nivel más avanzado que está. Entonces, ustedes son los últimos de la lista. Entonces, tarda, tengo que, tiene, tengo que esperar a que carguen todas las listas. So I can see yours para ver la de ustedes. So, yeah, you are the, the, um, the one, the only group in advanced right now. Let's see, where is we'll be it? Proud about that. Yeah, you should be proud of you guys because actually you are doing great. Okay, ahora sí. So, Alpadir Portal Díaz, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Dear teacher, sorry. Okay. Alba. Ah, okay, thank you, Alejandra Elizabeth, and thank you, Alba. Eh, Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Eh, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. Present. Thank you. Diego Anthony Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Eh, bueno, yo sé que está aquí. Pre uh, present. Sí, present. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Thank you. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Francisco Antonio Sánchez Jovel. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present. Thank you. Eh, Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present teacher. Thank you, María Susena. Permítame, me confundí. Ah, María Susena Ayala de Flores. Eh, Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you, Nady Ibis Méndez Albeño. 
Rafael Antonio Morales Present Martínez. Present teacher. Present. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Nady, and thank you, Rafael Antonio. Rodrigo Antonio Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Daniel Melendez Mayen. I mean, Present. Espérenme, ya, ay, ya les mixé los nombres. Vaya, Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales, ya dijo present, ¿verdad? Y ahora Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Thank you so much. Um, Rosa María del Milagro Pérez de Paz. Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you, Jensi Marlene León López. Present teacher. Thank you, and Zulma Beatriz Pérez Caldames. Present. Thank you very much. Y aquí hay un mensajito que dice, present, dice José Carlos Rodríguez. José Carlos Rodríguez, ahí está. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Let me put this aside. Okay, cool. Okay. So let's take a look in here. Yesterday we were talking about uh, giving advice, right? We um, prepared some of our sentences. Uh, we mentioned a little bit about uh, the reduced time clauses that we were working on, right? And also we were here, we were working with the um, uh, phrasal verbs, right? Now I was telling you that half of them, I already knew them. But then the other half, they were completely new to me because I have never heard uh, those uh, phrasal verbs before, right? So they were kind of interesting and I could see that you were able to, you know, to get the meaning very well. So we're going to continue here and we're going to talk a little bit about stress, chilling out, right? Chilling out, whenever you use that, ah, let's chill out, what they say, right? Y si incluso se ha convertido en una frase que se usa no solo en, en países eh, angloparlantes, right? So you, you can hear people here saying, okay, I'm just chilling, I mean, I'm just chilling out or just chill out, right? So chill out, it's trying to take, you know, to take it easy, right? Trying to calm down a little bit, right? Trying to, I don't want to say to get distracted, but like to go out and relax, right? It says stress can cause fatigue and a lack of energy. Check the things you do to cope with the stress. Can you add other suggestions to the list? So we have different ones. We have called a friend. We have do vigorous exercise, do yoga, um, get a massage, listen to music, take a hot bath, uh, vent your feelings. But obviously we can add more options here, okay? So let me see in the first one, right? Do you know the meaning of all the words or do you have questions about vocabulary words from what you can see? Yes. What uh -huh. does bend your feelings mean? Bend your feelings. Very good. Okay. This phrase is very famous, guys, especially in cold centers. <laughs> right. So the verb bend, I'm going to type it here. The verb bend significa ventilar, right? So uh, whenever you listen to this, right, you, 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 you will listen to a phrase that says, let the person bend. Ok, vent es ventilar, pero si nosotros traducimos la, la palabra o el verbo, al, digamos, lo interpretamos en español, sería desahogarse. Right, so whenever you vent your feelings is because you talk to someone else and you let them know how you feel, right? I mean, you are not, cuando usted, cuando usted usa vent, let the person vent or vent your feelings, you are not looking for for an, a piece of advice. You are not looking for someone to tell you what to do. All what you uh, want is to talk about it. So that's vent, to talk about it without being judged. That's what it means, right? I don't know if I answered your question. Uh, so it's so similar with call a friend? And no, I mean, vent your feelings is desahogar sus sentimientos. Uh, if you call, if you can do that uh, through calling a friend, that's totally fine. But there are some people that they prefer to um, go to a, um, I mean, to have a meeting with a therapist, right? Or they prefer to have a um, uh, psychology um, 
professional, right, to help them, or you can uh, bend your feelings with your partners, right, with your spouse, or you can bend your feelings with, uh, with your parents, but also this can happen with, you know, someone that you don't know, for example, when you go to uh, the mall, right, let's say, for instance, that you want to pay your internet bill, and you are waiting in line to pay your bill, and all of a sudden, you know, a person gets angry because he or she was overcharged, you know, uh, and this person vents his feelings or her feelings with the um, with the clerk, con la persona que está ahí encargada, right? With the customer service representative. So this it not I mean doesn't necessarily mean to call a friend but the action itself, desahogar eso que está sintiendo en ese momento, ya sea de una forma positiva o negativa, con quien sea que, que, que tenga enfrente, right? So that's what it is. If you can do it through a friend, that would be perfect, right? But that would be just another option. I don't know if I answered your question, Jose. Yes, this is right. Very good, excellent. Any other uh, uh, vocabulary word that you don't know, guys? Oh, look, aquí está también, it's desahogar o expresar, right? So any other uh, vocabulary word from the ones that you can see? Teacher, what's the yep. meaning of lack? Lack, very good. Lack, it's whenever we we uh, we need more, right? So lack is la falta de. In English, whenever we use lack of, lack of, y luego viene el, lo que nos falta, falta de. For example, lack of money, lack of energy, como está ahí creo yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, lack of energy, okay, eh, lack of um, resources, recursos, ¿verdad? Lack of um, uh, computers, Ajá, right? uh -huh, lack of time, very good. Ajá, uh -huh, entonces, la falta de un recurso, la falta de algo. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Teacher. Yes. I can say I am lack of shoes. Uh, no, I, I, in that case, I would say I need a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Uh -huh. In this case, we're talking about a resource, un recurso que nos hace falta o algo que se necesita, ¿verdad? La falta de algo. Mm -hmm. If you if you need shoes, so probably you would say that I need a, per, a new pair of shoes, right? Or I'm lacking, or I I have a lack of uh, accessories, right? Or I have a lack of clothing items. Mm -hmm. Dígame, Sandra. Is lack lack of money? Uh huh. Aquí está lack of money. Right? Lack of money, lack of that resource. Very good. Excellent. So any other question from here, guys? No? Uh, what is the meaning big vigorous? Vigorous, right? Vigorous, do vigorous exercises, vigoroso. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vigorous, uh -huh. you. you're welcome. Any other question? B vigorous is like, like hard or strong. Eh, more like energético. Okay. Uh -huh. Energetic. That, that would be a synonym for vigorous, energetic. Mm -hmm. All the words are known to you. So let me ask you this. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of... I'm going to open here. What is the meaning of cope? What is the meaning of cope? Anyone? It's here. It says, check the things that you do to cope with the stress. Minimizar, no. Mm, no, no. Uh, to uh -huh. face? Yeah, exactly. To face, to handle, right? Uh, in this case, uh, also, if you look for meanings, right, you find... Hacer frente a o enfrentarse con, manejar, ¿verdad? Uh, etc. 
Okay, so here for it, and this verb has become very like um, very popular. Se ha convertido en un verbo bien popular si ustedes se fijan. Uh, and it's advanced, you know, vocabulary, right? So whenever you cope with a situation, means that you find a way to deal with it. Okay. Yo lo definiría así es cuando yo uso esto to cope with cope with something, right? It's to find a way to deal uh, to deal with something, right? So whenever you use cope with something, you are saying that you find a way to deal with something. For example, here, check the things you do to cope with the stress. What does that mean? To deal with stress. Entonces, para mí, cope, oh, perdón, cope is a synonym of deal with, okay? deal with, manejar algo, right? O enfrentarlo, como dijo su compañero, face something, right? So, any other question? No questions, very good, okay? So here we have some examples, okay? But what can you add to the table, guys? What can you add to the table? What other suggestions or what other things you do to cope or to deal with the stress? Walk. Okay. Okay. A walk. walk. Very good. Yeah. And actually, that's a good one. It's very healthy uh, at no cost, right? And, and very useful. What else? Do work out or go to the gym. Okay. Work out. Very good. Work out or the gym, right? Very good. What else, guys? What else you do to cope with stress? Be be alone and silent. Okay, uh, spend together. <clears throat> spend time alone and in silence. Yeah, that's a good one. So you have time to reconnect with yourself. Okay, very good. Spend time alone and in silence. What else, guys? Maybe. Eh, perdón, Rosa María. Maybe think. Okay. That would be thinking time. Okay. Thinking time. In a pool. Okay. In the swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Swim. Okay. Swim or to go and <coughs> have some time in the swimming pool. Very good. <coughs> Excellent. What else? Some people eat a lot. Muy bien, exactly, por ahí vamos, right? Eating, right? Eating, okay. Sleep, sleep. okay. That would be probably sleep. take a nap. Uh -huh. What else? Eat chocolate. <laughs> singing, dice por acá en, en el chat. And chocolate, singing, yeah, chocolate, it's a very popular one too. It, oops. Eat chocolate or something sweet, right? Very good. What else? You see, la lista se hizo larga. What do you do, guys? What do you do to deal with stress, to cope with the stress? Breathe in deep. Okay. Breathe in uh, or breathe, but breathe deeply. Okay. What else? We go to the church. Okay. You go to church. What do you say? Orar. Pray. Pray. Okay. What else? Visit nature. Okay. Uh, oh. ¿Cómo es que le llaman a esto? Wait. Take a... Walking. Ah, algo así como combinada con la primera. Uh, um, take a walk in nature. Okay. Take a walk in nature. What else? Sing a song. A vacation. Oh, permítame. Eliu, creo que me estaba diciendo algo. Dígame, Eliu. How do you say? Ah, whistling. 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 Sing mm -hmm. a song whistling. Okay. Whistle. Let me see. Um, solo que siempre se me olvida cómo se escribe. Aquí está. Okay, sería... 
Yes, there are some people that do that. Uh, whistling. Okay. Or whistle, creo que sería. What else? Alguien me estaba diciendo algo más. Eh, Sandra? Go to a spa. Ah, okay. Go to a spa. O digamos, mejor, to have a spa session, right? Spa session. Okay, good. Anything else? Cosas que ustedes han hecho, que ustedes han, han comprobado que les ayudan. Look at the sky. Okay, look at the sky. Look at the sky. Mm -hmm. That helps my daughter to feel better too. What else? Let's see. Um, take a walk. Aquí sería take a walk, take a walk, work out, we're going to the gym, spend time alone in silence, thinking time, swimming pool, eating, take a nap, singing, uh, eating chocolate or something sweet, uh, breathe deeply, go to church, pray, take a walk in nature, whistle, to have a spa session, look at the sky, and what else? Play uh, the FIFA. Ah, okay. Oops. Yeah. Ay, qué Take a walk. Era aquí, ¿verdad? Y, yes, play video games. Ya me extrañaba que no lo habían dicho. Playing video games. Video games. Yeah, I have known, I mean, I have met a lot of people that um, in order to feel, you know, uh, less stressed, they play video games, right? And for some of them, it works, but not for all of them. In my case, I don't like playing video games, actually. I think some I have people, never played video games. Uh -huh. Some people read the Bible. Okay, a um, Bible reading session. Okay, Bible reading, uh, the Amman Bible. I Bible reading time. Okay, Bible reading time. Very good. Excellent. So there are plenty of things, right? So um, some people also, whenever they feel stressed, they like to watch watch funny videos, right? Some people like reading, right? Okay. Go, going to the beach. Going to the beach. Well, that one is more uh, expensive and you have to set a lot of time, but yes, going to the beach. De hecho, la, mucha gente, mucha gente que sale el fin de semana, that's what they do, what they do. They go to the beach so they can feel uh, real, uh, better. So what else? Let me think. My daughter, she Go loves to the river. visit a river. Okay. Visit a river. Okay. Uh, my daughter draws, for example, drawing, uh, painting, right? Painting. Don't use the telephone. Hmm? Don't use telephone. Okay. Um, uh, so like that would be like put uh, the cell phone aside, putting the telephone eh, lejos, verdad? So they cannot check it. So they put the cell phone aside, lo dejan en otro lado. Okay, so you see, there are so many things that you can do, right? Whenever um, you want to, well, I'm going to, voy a ponerles aquí este, this, with this, a hogar, right? Or, Expresar eran los que significaba esto. I'm going to share with you this. Se lo voy a compartir aquí en el chat. Partying with uh, friends. Ah, okay. Hang out with friends, right? Voy a agregarla acá. To hang out with friends. El hang out es como salir a, a fregar, dice uno, con los amigos o salir un rato. Eso es hang out. Right, hang out with friends. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Excellent. So you see, you have here um, the other examples called a friend. Uh, do vigorous exercise. Now, call a friend, at least in my world, in mi mundo, ¿verdad? Hmm. Probably I, I, I don't do it immediately unless I feel not. It's, I mean, I don't. No, I do it whenever I feel there's need to talk with someone. But if, if I just feel stressed, probably I wouldn't call a friend to, to let her know, right? Do uh, vigorous exercise or very energetic exercises. A lo que se refiere a esa, esa, esa frase es hacer un ejercicio que es demasiado pesado. 
right? Just to feel, you know, uh, better. And then do yoga. Yoga has become very popular, but um, I mean, I haven't practiced, you know, um, yoga. I haven't uh, had the experience for the Silasi, so I don't know how to do it. I mean, you have plenty of videos on YouTube, but uh, <laughs> you need time. Yes, Sandra. Uh, I, 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 I practice yoga and I saw it, it is very difficult, but when I practice, mm -hmm. it, it's better. And oh, it's really? relaxing, yes. And when you have a pain, and you can este, practice yoga and feel better. Wow, I did. Well, yeah, it's good to listen to, you know, those testimonials, right, that uh, something works. And I have heard that, yes, actually yoga helps you and it has so many benefits. It has health benefits. It has uh, benefits on your body. It helps you to feel better, right, to be more energetic, right, to feel less stressed, etc. Also get a massage, obviously, right, you have to pay for a massage. But if someone can help you at home, right, your mom or your spouse, and that's going to be a lot uh, better, right, listen to music. Uh, nowadays, I think it's not that popular as it was in the past, you know. Then take a hot bath. Uh, that would be wonderful. But in El Salvador, guys, we generally do not have hot water, right? And then vent your feelings or expresar or ventilar sus uh, sentimientos. So plus the list that we made, right? Good job on that one. So any questions, guys? Muy bien. Me gusta la lista que creamos entre todos. Very good. Anyone? No, okay. So then after that, we were working with the um, with the different pieces of advice that we gave to this person, right? Now we have expressions, expressions that we can use whenever we are given advice, right? So it's a spare work. Imagine you have one of the problems above. They turns asking for and giving advice. I have a real problem. I've been working a lot on this project and I'm so worn out and worried about my health. So now, I mean, how late do you usually work during the week? I usually stayed up. I mean, I usually stayed until 9 p.m. or so. Have you ever thought of telling someone that you need a little help, right? Take a look at the phrases that we have, okay? It says giving advice. Have you ever thought of, you might want to, it might not be a bad idea to, the way I see it, you ought to. Do you know the meaning of all the words here? Do you know the meaning of all the words in the, in the section? No. Okay, tell me. I am so worn, worn out. Oh, worn out is desgastado. Physicamente y mentalmente, worn out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? No? Uh, what about O2? What is the meaning of O2, guys? Mm -hmm. O2, what is the meaning of that? No one? It's it's like like should. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just like, like have to. Correct. Exactly. O2 means the same as have to. Okay. Have to means the same. I uh, mean, O2 means the same as have to. Tú debes hacer esto o debes hacer lo otro, right? Have to is used to give uh, advice, right? So um, in that case, you can go ahead and use it that way, okay? So let's think about, you know, different uh, situations, right? Different uh, problems that we have, right? Uh, in specific areas in our lives. So let's go ahead and um, 
select some of them. Let me see if I can uh, download the information here. Give me a second. It's this screen is getting stuck here. Mm. Bear with me. What happened? Okay, let's begin with the first one, guys. And I'm going to share it with you here. Se la voy a ir poniendo en una en una slide. Aquí en la presentation, give me a moment. Ah, yo decía, ¿por qué no abre? Es que I have several presentations opened. One second. Hmm. There we go. Bye. So I want you to think about the phrases, right, that we have here. Es más, I'm going to uh, take the screenshot and I'm going to show it to you with the situation, okay? Let's go ahead and use it here. And we're going to add it along with the, um, with the problem. Let me see. Vaya, chicos. So the first problem is this. I want to improve my English pronunciation. So what should I do? Now let's go ahead and build, you know, some uh, sentences that can express, you know, the way we can uh, uh, go ahead and, and help this person, right? So in this case, we have, um, have you ever thought of, you might want to, it might, it might not, blah, 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 blah. It might not be a bad idea too. And the way I see it, you ought to. Let's go ahead and create our own sentences. Voy a borrar todo eso porque ya se los compartí. Okay, bear with me. Y ahorita vamos a hacer las oraciones, okay? So, I want to improve my English pronunciation. What should I do? Let's begin with the first one, the question. Have you ever thought of... Have you ever thought of what, guys? Have you ever thought Recording of... Recording yourself. Very good recording yourself right so have you ever thought of recording yourself and check and check right and check in right after right excellent good job the next one you might want to do what Mm -hmm. Pieces of advice, guys. Yo sé que estamos acostumbrados a decir should, you should do this, you should do that, I suggest uh, doing this, I suggest doing that, pero esto, acuérdense que ya es para un nivel avanzado, right? Ya no usamos should, should, should to give advice. We use other phrases. Entonces es lo mismo, solo que using different expressions. So, um, what other piece of advice would you give to someone, right, that wants to improve their pronunciation? So you might want to do what? You might want to take a pronunciation class. Pronunciation class. You might want to take a pronunciation class. Or talk in front of the mirror. You might want to, uh -huh, muy bien, Boy. you might want to, to talk in front of, uh, in front of the mirror. Very good, right? What about the next one? It says it might not be a bad idea, oops, a bad idea too. It might not be a bad idea to to do what? To practice more in the class. Okay, it might not be a bad idea to practice more during class, okay? Very good. The way I see it, the way, oops, 
the way I see it, you ought to, you ought to do what? You have to do what? Mm -hmm. Oui, the way I see it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No idea. So the way I see it, you owe to um, listen and watch to, oh no, watch and listen to more material in English, right? So the way I see it, you ought to watch and listen more material in English, right? Okay, very good. Uh, give me a second. Bye. This is questions about the sentences. Questions about the sentences. No. Okay, this is, I'm going to give you some time in the breakout rooms, guys, because I have a set of uh, situations, right? Entonces, vamos, yo les voy a dar unas cartas, unas este, imágenes with the information right in the, on it, right? And uh, you have to talk with your partner. Give me a second, I'm going to share this. And you have to create your own sentences. Give me a second, I'm going to answer here. Sorry, Elio, that I hadn't seen your messages, but I just don't have the, 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 the phone next okay. to me. Okay. So here I'm going to share the phrases, right? I'm going to share the examples too. Have you ever thought of recording yourself and checking, right, checking it right after? You might want to take a pronunciation class. You might want to talk in front of the mirror to practice, right, to practice. Uh, it might not be a bad idea to practice more during class. The way I see it, you ought to watch and listen to more material in English. Okay, very good. So I'm going to share also the these examples, okay? And last but not least, I'm going to share the um, the file. Se lo voy a pasar por no, quizás no por PDF. Le voy a pasar mejor solo las las situaciones. Give me a second. We have the first ones. There you have. Vamos a trabajar con two, four, six, eight. But out of the eight situations, we have already discussed one. Ya discutimos una. Okay, so you have to continue with the rest. The second scenario says, my friends, oh, I'm sorry, my friend has told me lies about me and I'm angry. Oh, I'm sorry. My friend has told lies about me and I'm angry. I went, I want a car, but I don't have enough money. I like to bike a bit but I live in an apartment. I forgot my best friend's birthday yesterday. What should I do? I have a job interview in English next week. How should I prepare? I want to get a new phone. What phone should I buy? I have problems with getting to sleep at night. What should I do, right? So uh, let's go ahead and put it into practice, right? Uh, be honest, <laughs> ser honesta, he notado que eh, cuando tenemos los breakout rooms, la mayoría no se mete o se desconecta. So don't forget um, that uh, we have very few opportunities to practice. Bien poquitas. Eh, eh, se, como es bien poquitos ejercicios hacemos así, ya que a veces el material es bastante, pero pues esta semana tenemos tiempo y también la que viene, right? Así que let's go ahead and uh, do that. So, questions, preguntas sobre la actividad? Questions? Uh, 
Okay, no worries. No. Bye. Perfect. So. Uh, chuku, 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 chuku. Aquí está. So how many students are you? You are 18, so I'm going to create nine, 10, just in case, right? So um, I assigned you in pairs, right? Uh, los puse en pareja. Please try to, um, two, four, six, eight, Mm. Give me a second. Estoy ordenándolos. Give me a moment. Here. There you go. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for letting me know, uh, eh, Francisca, Ana Francisca. Hello, girls. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Very good. Are you discussing the um, the situations? Um, we start in this moment. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. You're welcome. Give me a moment. I'm going to move to another room. words new hi uh, new pronunciation okay. okay ready teacher excellent that's what i can hear i'm going to stay here just for a couple of minutes continue okay teacher aquí me fue la se me fue la señal bien se escucha eh, bien cortado y a lo lejos por momentos ah okay he's breaking out uh, the internet is lagging. Uh, yeah, okay, no problem. I mean, if, if you can um, 
try to pay attention to what he shares, right? And, and it, all of a sudden you lose the connection. It's okay. The thing is that you're driving, right, Elio? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no problem. It's, yes. okay. it's okay, right? So okay. if you want, you can continue and I'm going to move to another room, okay? Okay. Continues with Elio. Okay. And um, Juan Carlos, yes, I, I, I like your recommendation about listening music or learning song. For example, in one occasion I learned uh, yesterday, and I never forget the meaning of of each phrase. Oh, nice. Uh, yes, it's nice. Uh, it's a good learning thing. By heart, learning by heart, o sea, aprendiendo de memoria, learning by heart the song, the letters. I don't know how to say the letters. The, okay, the, how? Uh, the uh, spelling. Read, read, read mm -hmm. The spelling? Okay. The spelling, yes, the spelling the, mm -hmm. the, the sentence. In, in a song. For example, I learned yesterday all my troubles seem so far away that each other I'm then hanging over me or I believe in yesterday. Oh. I learned that song in that occasion. I I feel I feel really relaxed and I learned. Yeah. I think yeah. that it's, it's a good way it's a good way to learn to improve English learning spelling song. And learning by heart, but, but and think, speaking. try to sing. Try to sing. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Are you practicing? Uh -huh. Or uh, if you are unable to to participate, let me know, or you can go back to to the main room. No problem. I want to try to do one of the of the options. Okay, perfect. If you want, I'll I'll listen to you. Okay. Uh, my friend has told lies about me, and I am angry. Mm -hmm. What should I do? Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, I might want to talk with her or mm -hmm. him. Okay. And that's why why she told the things about me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah, that would be uh, one of the wisest thing because uh, we want to know the reason why this person is spreading, you know, lights all over the place. Mm -hmm. What else? And I forgot my best friend's birthday yesterday. Mm -hmm. What should I do? <laughs> and I think it might not be a bad idea to to take her. Uh, I don't know, maybe a a lunch. <laughs> ah, okay. Her to take her lunch. out. Yes, or maybe give her a present. Okay, well, I like that, right? <laughs> I mean, if you forgot the birthday, that's totally fine. But the opportunity to give a present, it's always there. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. What else? One more, and I'll move to another uh, room. I don't know if Nady want to, to talk. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the eh, I ya se nos que tengo que estar solo como oyente. Eh, ah. Honestamente, a veces es eh, como vengo en el tráfico, entonces no, no me fijo si eh, mm, nos pasa alguna sala o algo. Dice que yo a veces quizás no me he pasado. Okay. No, not a problem. Recientemente estoy llegando, entonces, honestamente, no le agarré mi idea. 
no se preocupe. Entonces me voy a llevar a Alejandra con otra sala para que usted pues termine de, de llegar y ahí nos avisa. Oye. Vaya, okay, pues, you're welcome. Ahorita la mando con otros dos compañeros, eh, eh, Elizabeth. ¿Ok? Thank you. Very good. You're welcome. To the in English, so and I consider that it's necessary. It's necessary listening to to different video in English or movies or series. Hi, girls. I'm just here listening to you. Don't pay attention to me. Okay, uh, teacher, a uh, question. Uh, we can give one or two tips per question. Uh, the microphone. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I was saying you can you can go ahead and, and, and just give one or two pieces of, of advice. You can use one or two the, of the phrases. You don't have to go, you know, with every single situation with the four of them. It's okay if you want just to say a couple of, of uh, um, uh, pieces of advice. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. You can continue. Do you hear me right now? I have a problem with my microphone or, or you can hear me, guys? And yes, it's, it's a good song. Okay, okay. I, I'm going to answer the question about what should I do to improve my English, okay? Uh, well, I think I need to listen a lot of uh, videos or anything in English, like such as podcasts or videos on YouTube. Beside that, I think I need to speak aloud uh, or record my voice and then I listen my record and try to uh, listen if I said the word well or bad. And also I need to learn a lot of vocabulary uh, to try to practice my grammar. Yes. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi teacher. Hi, have you been practicing? Yes teacher. Excellent, very good. Do you have any questions? Yo, no, ya vamos por la sexta. Excellent, very good. So just continue. And uh, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to take you back to the main room, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, see you there. See you there. Mm -hmm. To learn, but to me, it's uh, sometimes so difficult because um, sometimes I feel so losing or lost. Um, but try to 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 do it. Ah, yeah, that's that's great. That's great. And why are you trying to learn English? Sorry. Why are you trying to learn English? Because I I always want to to speak another language. Um, ah, but, you, um, in your um, work? Well, my work is take care of my, my babies. Uh, can you hear? Hi, yes, Rafael. I'm hearing you. Hi, Rafael and Jose. How many babies do you have, Rafael? I have three three uh, boys, uh, boys uh, oh. 14 and uh, two girls uh -huh. one of uh, uh, one uh, is 10, 10 years one is 10 and the baby uh -huh. has two years 
is two I, years old. Remember, uh, remember, we used the verb to be to express to express the age, right? So, uh, one of the girls is ten. The baby is um, uh, two, right, etc. So we use the verb to be to express the age, but that sounds like you have a lot of work to do, Rafael, with your kids. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> but, but it's the baby beautiful. It's a, a big, a big girl. Uh huh. Uh, but she, she, they make me so happy. Okay, well, definitely, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, it's, it's difficult, but in the end, it's worthy, right? Okay, guys, so I'm going to go back to the main room, and I'll be waiting for you there, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Give me a second. <laughs> 